Hello and welcome to the inaugural episode of Through the Mixing Glass. My name is Joel and I'll be your beverage Sherpa on this journey. Let's make a Lost Lake. This modern tiki drink was created by Paul McGee of Lost Lake Tiki Bar in Chicago. First up, the recipe calls for two ounces of Jamaican rum. I'm going with a seven-year-old Angostura rum from Trinidad and Tobago. This rum isn't gonna have all the banana funkiness you'd expect from a Jamaican rum like Smith & Cross, but I think it works in this drink. Next up, three quarters of an ounce of passion fruit syrup. I made this batch myself using Goya frozen passion fruit pulp from the grocery store. I'll put the link to the recipe I used below. And we're following that up with three quarters of an ounce of freshly squeezed lime juice. Next is half an ounce of pineapple juice. You may have noticed I didn't say freshly squeezed. That's because I simply don't know how to juice a pineapple. If you do, go for it. Now the next two ingredients are what really set the Lost Lake apart from a more traditional tiki tipple. First up is a quarter of an ounce of Luxardo Maraschino liqueur. To me, this stuff has a tendency to dominate, so I'll sometimes dial it back a bit. And last but not least, a quarter of an ounce of Campari, which is really going to lend this drink a nice bitter note. All right, we've got all our ingredients in our tin. Now it's time to add ice and give it a shake. As far as glassware goes, I'm using a highball glass. If you got a funky tiki mug at home, go with that. I'm filling mine mostly full with crushed ice, clapping a strainer on my tin and pour it. I'm also going to garnish with a sprig of mint. There we go. And an orange wedge. Oop. Hmm. It doesn't look right. Ah, there we go. Now this drink is perfect. Add a straw and drink up. This drink is everything I want a cocktail to be. It's bright and refreshing. It's got the tropical vibes you'd expect from a tiki drink, but with some unique bitter notes from the Campari that you or whoever you're serving it to might not expect. Thanks again for watching. I've got a lot of big plans for the channel. I hope you'll hit the like and subscribe buttons and follow along. Cheers.